Ano ang hahanap ka ba na makupuntahan? Bakit di mo siya bukang puntahan ang isa sa mga lugar na ito? Simon Says PH presents 10 Famous Haunted Places in the Philippines Number 10 Fort Santiago Built as a defense fortress for the walled city of Intramuros, Fort Santiago is witness to a number of atrocities committed by the Japanese in the closing months of World War II. These days, sightings of restless spirits dressed as Guardia Civil roaming the grounds have been reported, as well as indistinct murmurs. Pinapaniwalaan na ang mga kwento ng mga nakaranas ng nakapaninindig palahibong pangyayaring ito ay tulot ng mga kaluluwa ng mga sundalo at mga sibilyang nasawing noong World War II. Sapagkat ang naturang lugar ay nagsalbing punong himpilan ni General Douglas MacArthur at mula rito pinamunuan niya ang hukbong Filipino-Amerikano laban sa mga mananakop na Hapones. Mula noon, ito ay nagsilbing kasing kahulugan ng kamatayan para sa mga Pilipino. Kinalaunan, ito ay nasakop ng mga Hapones at dito dinaos ng mga Kenpei Tai o mga polis militar ng mga Hapon ang torture o pagpapahirap sa mga miyembro ng gerilya. Magpasa hanggang ngayon, di pa rin lubusang may paliwanag ang kababalaghan sa Fort Santiago. Maaaring ito ay masyari na lamang bilang alaala ng mga sakupisyo ng mga Pilipino para sa ating buhay. Number 9 Teacher's Camp Established during the American era as a center for training and seminars for teachers and employees of the Insular Government Teacher's Camp. Formerly called Baguio Teachers Camp, celebrated its 100th year in 2008 and has since been declared a national heritage site. Because of its age, the place is a site of a number of reported ghost sightings. Vacationers and holiday makers also report of hearing footsteps in the hallways and faint mumbles during midnight. Isang pagpapatunay mula kay Tala Internasyon ng Ikorot H. Tato. Leadership Training ng YMCA 1996 May mga kasama kami ng Japanese students bawat ko. Nung kasama namin si Timoyo, susunduin namin sa room niya kasi Filipiniana night para sabay-sabay kami pumupunta sa Great Hall. Tapos nakita namin siya lumabas ng sitar from a bar. Suot na ang Maria Clara dress. So sinundan na lang namin siya kasi mauna siya makarating sa kwarto niya. Nakita namin siya bumasok ng kwarto mga 12 rooms away pa kami. Pagdating namin sa pinto ng room nila, sabi ng mga Japanese delegates, wala pa raw nasa sitar. Sabi namin, nakita na namin siya bumasok. Tapos bilang dumating si Tomoyo na galing sa CR na kabatong ba. Yung Maria Clara dress niya na kita namin nakasabit pa sa kami niya. Tulala kami ng grupo. Tapos sa mga kwarto may kakatok. Makikita mo sa siwang sa ilalim ng pinto na may nakatayo sa labas ng pinto. Pero pagkakas mo walang tao. Mga gamit di mo mahanap lang lilitaw sa ibabaw ng mesa. Unforgettable sa akin mo. Mula kay Tala Internasyon. Number 8 Clark Air Base Hospital Featured in at Geos, I wouldn't go in there. Clark Air Base Hospital was a modern healthcare facility during its heyday in the 1960s. But unfortunately, property fell into disuse when the Americans left and after the massive eruption of Mount Pinatubo in, in 1991. These days, 
incidents of violent spirits throwing objects to uninvited guests. The mysterious phantoms lurking around corners are reported. Ang hospital na ito ay ginamit noong World War II at noong Vietnam War. At ngayon, ito ay abandonado na sa loob ng Narc Freeport Zone. At dahil hindi patilang ang mga sandalong namatay sa hospital na ito, maraming taong naniniwala na ang lugar na ito ay napakikitaan ng kung ano-ano nila lang. Ang kababayaan sa infrastruktura nito ang nagbigay ng hindi pangkaraniwang huli na kung saan ang tinit ng mga kwarto sa lugar na ito ay nagtutulot ng kababalaghan sa hospital din. Number 7. Malacanang Palace The official residence of President of the Philippines, Malacanang Palace is historic as it is frightening. Malacanang Palace is as Malacanang Palace is as historic as it is frightening. Originally built in 1750 as a summer house, the Spanish government bought 16 hectare property as temporary home for Governor's General. When the summer heat in Intramuros becomes unbearable, today, guests, residents, and employees report sightings of a cancer, a giant tree demon, and Filipino mythical tradition. At the entrance, apparitions of mysterious black entities, and even the ghost of President Manuel L. Quezon, its first Filipino president. Number 6. Dominican Hill Retreat House or Diplomat Hotel Originally built in the 1910s as a retreat house for Dominican priests, this dilapidated structure sitting atop Dominican Hill in Baguio was the site of a number of gruesome killings during World War II. Converted and rebranded into Diplomat Hotel in the 1970s, the property later ceased operations when its owner died in 1987 and has since fell into disuse. Today, numerous accounts of apparitions of headless priests and the weeping sounds coming from the building have been reported. Number 5. Villalon Mansion Known also as the House on the Hill, this abandoned, eerie-looking pink mansion sits atop a hill in the capital site in Cebu City. Tourists may miss this hidden gem, which was owned by the prominent Villalon family and it was a venue of the glitzy parties in the 1950s and 1960s. The original owners have moved on. They say, but strange occurrences remain in the house, including that of a white lady looking out from one of its windows and frightening sounds that can be heard from outside. Number 4. Herrera Mansion, Chaong Stone House Designed in the 1920s by famous architect Thomas Papua, it is the oldest standing structure in the small town of Chaong in Quezon Province. Locals share stories of headless soldiers, apparitions of an elderly couple roaming around the property, the rattling doorknobs, and the faint sound of shackles being dragged. Number three, the Beral White House. The white Victorian style of this house in Baguio Binguet 
is enough to give it an eerie vibe. But obviously, the story behind this otherwise magnificent property is what that makes it famous and well terrifying. Once belonging to the rich Capital clan, accounts say that this house was an execution site for captured Filipino and American spies during World War II. According to the property caretakers, the noise of children playing can be heard around the house, as well as an apparition of a white dad lady staring from one of the windows. This property is now owned by the Lushitan and has been converted into an exhibit showcasing Philippine Gap carvings. Number 2 Bahay na Pula Amid the vast green fields of San Ildefonso Bloca lies the blood red huge Bahay na Pula famous or infamous for its horrifying history. This once beautiful house served as the garrison for the Japanese army during World War II and expectedly was the venue of a number of atrocities committed by Japanese soldiers. Number 1 Manila Film Center Built in 1981 at the behest of former First Lady Imelda Marcos, the controversial Manila Film Center hosted the Manila International Film Festival in 1982. Although the film festival ran smoothly, the construction of the venue did not. During the final stages of its construction in November 1981, tragedy struck. The scaffoldings of the upper floor of the structure collapsed. Workers, some 169 according to reports, fell and were buried in quick, drying with cement. A blanket of security was imposed by the regime, and rescuers were only permitted to decide nine hours after the collapse. Although the center is still being used today, Stories have it that the restless spirits of those who died have haunted the place since then. Ikaw, alin dyan ang pupuntahan mo?